They grew up together, went to the same school, and had been best friends for ten years. So it came as no surprise when Ron Tae and Nick Teo won first and second place respectively at the Mr. Singapore 2012 pageant. Why did you guys join the competition together? Uh, this is the first time like I joined a competition with my very best friend, which we grew up with, together with. Yeah. Because it is really good, and we can motivate each other to work hard. Yes. I felt really, really happy for him. Yes. I feel that he deserved to be the winner. I thought he was going to win. He's too modest. He's too modest. He totally deserved the, the winner. Was there any kind of rivalry between you two for the competition? Actually, we we didn't thought that we were we are going to win. So just come here with an open mindset to know more people, to make friends and such. And then winning is just bonus to us. Even Ron and Nick's friends, who turned up at Zerka to cheer on the two hunks, felt that it made perfect sense for the two best friends to win. Who were you guys expecting to win? Um, we were actually expecting probably both, lah, I would say. Because both of them are equally good. And then, uh, oh, they're putting a lot of effort to it. That in our opinion, not because they are just friends, but they stood out. They stood out because of their height and the way they presented themselves. As the first runner-up, Nick walked away with a cash prize of one thousand dollars. How do you feel about winning second place? Actually, I feel very happy and excited right now because I'm still in shock. I I joined the uh, competition because I want to learn more, make new friends. But actually, it turned quite well. But the competition wasn't all fun and games for Nick, who sheepishly revealed that a Q and A segment caused him to stumble quite a bit. The toughest point of the competition, I I think for me will be the Q and A uh, segment because I'm still not quite confident, and I think I started a little, and that that might that might be the place where I have still have to improve on. How do you handle people not liking you? Uh, there's a lot of situation and. To handle such things, but for me, I choose the easy and best way out. I can't control who, I can't control things that I can't control. So I'll choose, I will I will just ignore them because rather than be unhappy, I I can choose my time to be happy. That's all. Nick wasn't the only one feeling nervous. Even second runner-up Ice Asher Chu, who represented Bukit Timah, had a bad case of stage fright. What was the toughest part of the competition? I would say fighting my stage fright because I had stage fright since young and the moment I step up, my heart was beating really, really hard. So it was a challenge trying to fight the stage fright there. Yep. You look so confident on stage. What's your strategy? Well, I have to act confident even though I'm dying inside. <laughs> yeah. Watch our other clips to see the Mr. Singapore contestants strut their stuff.